The situation between anti-government activists and the Syrian army has escalated in Homs over recent days. Journalists who've managed to get into the city have been reporting on the violence in the Baba Amma district. I'm at ground zero and I'm seeing what is being hit. Civilian buildings are being hit. Dozens of civilians are reported to have died. And now Sunday Times reporter Marie Colvin and French photographer Remy Oshlik have been killed. The two veteran war correspondents were inside one of the houses that was shelled. This was one of Marie Colvin's last interviews from inside Homs. And there's been absolutely ferocious shelling um, this morning, starting at about 6.30 in the morning. Uh, there's been, it, it's very hard, hard to tell exactly what, but it's certainly uh, tank shells and um, mortar rounds, very heavy shells. Um, several buildings have collapsed. Uh, there's at least 12 dead. They're the only place that people are being treated, the field clinic, the building next to it, a shell fell right on top of that, lit on fire. Uh, the oil tank's up there, so that is burning badly. I'm on a street, half the houses on this street have been hit, um, including the one I'm in that lost the top floor last week. The scale of the danger she was in never left the forefront of her mind. There, there are only civilian houses here. Secondly, the civilians can't leave. Um, you know, you may say, well, if it's so bad, why are they staying there? The Syrians are not allowing civilians to leave. Anyone who gets on the street, if they're not hit by a shell, they're sniped. There's snipers all around Baba Lamar on the high buildings. And, um, I, I think the sickening thing is the complete merciless nature of, of this bombing. Um, whether or not, uh, what is the target? They are hitting civilian buildings absolutely mercilessly and without caring. I think that's really the main point and the scale of it is just shocking.